What's up guys, Barry Gaming, back with some more Eternal Evolution. Yes, the game that we're maining on our second channel. No, this is absolutely not a hashtag ad, but if you guys want to try this out and play along with us over on our Barry Gaming 2 channel, go to the link in this description. Make sure you use that download link. That is our creator link. Just gives me some extra rewards in game and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, it's probably one of my most addicting games right now because you guys know, <laughs> Most of you probably about the same age as me. We got family, we got wife, we got all these other responsibilities now. It feels like mobile gaming is just where it's at for us. We don't have time to sit down and play like an MMO for four to five hours a night. We don't have time to even play like Diablo games or stuff like that as much as we want to grind out that awesome loot. But what we can do is we can play some idle games. And this is probably one of my favorite idle games right behind Idle Heroes. And the best thing is free to play. It's probably one of the best free to play idle gotchas I've ever ever played honestly uh, as much as I love idle heroes free to play gaming this feels better on how to get those SSS really strong heroes and number two if you're a spender out there uh, I feel like the game kind of, it, it respects your money a little bit more than most other gotchas. Of course, it has a VIP system, so it's going to be pay to win to a point. But free to play can make amazing progress in this game and get tons of. I mean, they give out hero copies like the the really good hero copies left, right, and center. And the fact that you only need like less than half the copies to get to an immortal hero, which is the goal compared to a max hero is really, really good. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'm going to show you guys a little bit about the game if this is the first time you're seeing it. Again, make sure you use that link. Use it on your PC. If you're on BlueStacks, copy it. Put it in the Chrome browser in BlueStacks, uh, or it'll redirect you to the Android store if you're on your Android phone or the iOS store if you're on iOS. Let's get going. <laughs> So this is the game right here. It is more of like, it's not like the fantasy style. It's kind of more of like a sci-fi-ish style here. But I will say one of the things I absolutely love about this game are the hero designs, the hero animations, everything like this. It's going to be a little choppy because I lower, you can literally lower or raise the resolution and the frame rate in this game, depending on the power of your phone, uh, your platform. It just seems like on blue stacks, I can't run it like fully maxed out without it causing some issues. But uh, it has some really, really cool artwork. The heroes are really cool. The animations of entering is really awesome. There's a few different factions and it's still early enough in the game that honestly, there's not a ton of heroes. There's actually how many in total there's 20 40 50 63 there's only or 73 there's only 73 heroes and that includes every type of hero including all these low tier ones uh, there's only a couple qualities that you actually keep in this gallery they start at rare copies and stuff like that. Uh, rare ones upgrade to epics. Technically, all these heroes are epics, whether you see an SSS up here or a regular hero. Of course, majority of SSS heroes are stronger than the regular ones, but you have some outliers like Serena being like one of the best healers in the game. She's just a regular elite hero. Very easy to get your hands on, so it's really, really cool. Uh, there's kind of the different factions here. These are kind of more like the beast creatures in the game that, uh, yeah, Lord of wings you can see they are very much inspired by uh an animal type taylor one of the best hunters in the game even though he's not an sss hero really really cool uh, and then you have atlas they're kind of like the alienish type creatures some of them look really funky and weird like ampu can literally raise the dead he raises zombies and everything masrani is like the best overall hero in the healer in the game not hero healer in the game but uh very very awesome and then we have some newer heroes that have been coming out uh, Miranda was one that just came out. There's a hero comes out like every two to four weeks, depending on what's going on in the game. Uh, but again, it's just so early in the game that even if you're a free to play player, you can collect just about every single hero and slowly work on their progress. Now you might be asking yourself, Barry, how many copies do I need? You do need a certain amount to get to a certain threshold. So one thing you'll notice on my account, these regular non-SS heroes, we have all of them like maxed out. This is called Immortal 5. That's uh, pretty much the max you can take them. But you'll see some other ones like our SSS. They're just at 
immortal. Ignore the extraordinary. That's something completely different. I'll show you one down here that we have some of our other SSS heroes. Like these down here, they're just at immortal. Getting to immortal is the most progress for the power of your hero. It only takes eight copies. If you want to go all the way up to immortal five, it takes two more copies for each one. So 10 more. So yeah, less than half of the copies you need to fully max a hero makes them powerful. If you get a hero to immortal, they're 100% usable in all game modes you absolutely don't need to go to a mortal five it's just minor upgrades and things like that now the one cool thing with this system is there's a lot of different gear sets that give different bonuses so if you're an mmo player you might be used to set pieces and stuff like that really really cool uh every hero has an exclusive that gives you different enhancements on their abilities and then there's a talent tree but you just get everything in the talent tree so you don't worry about it like an, it's not like again like an mmo that you need an actual talent tree and then of course there are some upgrades later on that you'll see that you can get some s level stuff like that we won't talk about that but the nice thing is your heroes on your account will level up with the top five most powerful up to level 240 that is the main cap and that's why you see every hero on here is 240 if you only have all these heroes at 230 everybody in your list will be at 230 but overall uh, the hero designs are awesome the amount of money you have to spend to make relevant heroes in the game is much less than like any other gotchas i played and you guys know i spend money on gotchas right you know i do that so when i say is less trust me it is less it's a lot less than idle heroes even uh and of course there's some really cool heroes um the summoning in this is really cool too because there are pity timers here i can't show them to you right now they're behind me i've already done the pity timers but the first 60 summons you do on the 60th one you're guaranteed the sss elite there's always uh other heroes on the banner as well you will not hit elite heroes outside of this banner so if you know you want to get like more bot mark which is a really good single target hunter that's not an sss hero uh chances of getting these are pretty high but the other thing that's really nice is you can see they show you the chances here the up rate, like the chance of getting the Miranda over the bot mark in Muka, isn't that much lower. It's, it's surprisingly not that much lower, which is a very nice thing to have. And even if you hit the Miranda on like your first 10 summons at 30, you'll still get another elite hero which again will be one of these heroes if you're lucky you hit a ton of the sss heroes if not you don't but we have a ton of summoning videos over on our second channel barry gaming coop too check them out i haven't posted a video over there in about a week that's just because you know new dad life i'm tired i don't have time to do it all but we're gonna be jumping back into it real soon because we're finally getting some sleep again which is really really cool there's the basic summons which aren't really anything premium and then there are advanced now the other thing that's really cool in this game is every time you do a summon you get a chip and you can exchange chips for uh, gene hybrids, which are usually pretty cheap. These can be used on any hero as a substitute for a hero copy, which is really cool. So if you have a bunch of these saved up, you do a new event, you do your 60 summons to get Miranda as you're guaranteed. And then you have like seven more of these genes just saved up you're done you can just build her up to immortal and you're finished the other thing is they'll have some of the older banner heroes in the shops and each shop has a different uh list of heroes which is really cool never go for the regular elites just go for the sss's those are the important ones and sometimes you'll get double chip events which are really really cool these limited summons are really important save the advanced summons of course for big summoning events kind of like idle heroes you want to do your summons during special events like the hero rally You'll see we got a bunch of stuff down here by doing up to 500, which includes an SSS hero selection card. And you can pick from quite a few different SSS heroes. There's just a ton of stuff in this game that really makes it worthwhile. And lastly, I'm going to show you guys the combat since, of course, the combat matters, right? This is semi-like idle heroes. Of course, you can manually do things. You can tell them when to use their actives because they have energy bars that accumulate over time. And I'll show you guys right here. We have some really good heroes. You can play this full auto or full manual, or you can do a mix of between. You can pick which heroes you want to control and other ones you don't. You can speed up the battle. You can slow it down. Sometimes you really want to slow down the battle to make sure you get your abilities off at the right time. But you can see here, it is a fluid battlefield. You move all around. You can aim where you want your heroes to do their attacks at, which is cool too. I can tell her to put the bubble and cover the guys in the front here, which is really, really good as well. And you can see there's a lot of customization to the battle. You can literally just do this, set it all to auto, times two, take your hands off, is literally the same thing as Idle Heroes. Sometimes the AI doesn't work as good as you possibly could have it work, but a lot of times it's still enough to not have to touch the keyboard, mouse, 
phone, anything, and you can just let it do auto battles. The other really nice thing about this too is there's a button here I'm gonna show you guys. I think we might actually win this battle. We were stuck on it for a while. There's a battle you can do, click right here, tap for auto battle. This is just gonna continue through the battles until you get a defeat, which is really, really cool, or you get through the entire chapter. So hands off, you can walk away from your computer. It has an auto battler built in which is just absolutely amazing. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Again, use that link in the description, especially if you're a spender. It gives us a lot of credit in game for bonus resources for our own account so we can make some additional content for you guys like summon videos and all that fun stuff. And I can build the heroes and highlight them more often. But again, if you're just playing the game, even free to play, again, use that link. That is our creator code. It definitely helps out the channel. Uh, and yeah, one thing to do, one, one last, last footnote. Be prepared like most idle games, the first two days to a week, depending on how much you play, you're going to want to play it nonstop. And there's so much stuff to do. You're never going to run out of stuff to do for quite a while. And then you get finally into that nice little idle mode where you play for like 15, 30 minutes a day. There are so many good events that pop up. They give so many free resources. It's absolutely amazing. You guys got to try it out. Trust me. And, and again, one more time. No, this is not a hashtag ad. This is a game we play on our second channel. If you haven't subscribed to Barry Gaming 2, go subscribe to that channel as well. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.